Hi, my name's Inika and I thought I'd make this video after reading an article um, that was put up the other day by Odd Ballroom Dancer um, about the art of fake tanning and why we, why we do that um, as ballroom dancers because uh, obviously ballet dancers don't, don't bother um, and I think there's a few other dance forms that, that don't really go into that sort of thing. So it got me thinking about what I do as a dancer to prepare for a big competition. Um, some people do tan. Um, I don't because I'm allergic to the stuff. <laughs> um, although my coach keeps insisting that there is some stuff out there that is possible for me to use. Um, I'm not brave enough to try it the night before a competition. Um, so here's a little video on what I do to get ready for a competition um, or a bigger one than usual at least. Okay, so first things first, here I have my rather messy wardrobe, apologies. Um, I check on my makeup um, just to see whether anything's run out or not. So here we have my makeup bag, which I take with me to the comp. Looks a little bit like a handbag, which is handy. Um, so obviously I've got hairpins there. Um, make sure I've got the jewellery with me that I, I wear, um, obviously the actual bits and pieces. I, most of this I will apply before I go, uh, hair donut for just in case everything falls apart on me. Um, tissues, mirror, all the usual sorts of things. Basically just checking that I haven't run out of any liquid foundation, which is in there somewhere, there it is. Um, it's very much a workhorse bag. There is nothing pretty about it. Um, so I haven't run out of anything there, and I definitely haven't run out of hairspray. I have two massive bottles of that. All right, so next thing is to check my um, dress and our competition gear. Okay, so excuse the messy spare bedroom. Um, so here we have um, our little makeshift dance closet. Um, so we have a dance bag or two, a suit bag for my husband. That's his new one, which he's rather pleased with. It's quite lightweight for travel. Um, dance bags um, for the ladies are usually just able to fold in half. Okay. Um, but what I do is just have a look at the dress and see if there's anything that I need to fix up. If there's any loose bits, not really. My bra cups are still stitched in. My beads haven't come undone in any way. Um, things like that. This is my husband's suit. I know that's all good because we checked that earlier. That's all his gear. Um, and then... Just have a look at my older dress because um, usually bits and pieces start to fall off so you can see this black stuff here gets stuck on um, and over time it does sort of start to peel off a bit so that's all good on the back on the front sorry and on the back um, I stuck this bit down the other day and it seems to have held that bit hasn't but I don't think I'll worry about that one too much um, yeah, we're looking all good. I also checked the skirts just to make sure nothing's sticking out. Um, none of this boning here has come loose. So, as long as the dresses are in good repair, um, pretty much I'm happy and good to go. So, once I check the dress and all oh, my beauty stuff's all in order, nothing's run out, um, the last but not least thing is snacks. If I'm going to be at a competition all day, and I mean all day, um, you don't really get a chance to stop to eat, and you don't really want to eat a, a lunch or a dinner. You want to keep sort of snacking. So, usually what I grab um, is a hell of a lot of, sorry, kitchen window, uh, a hell of a lot of nuts and sultanas and stuff. Um, a little bit of junk, because you can. And some muesli bars. And then obviously fresh uh, veg. So carrots, celery, bananas, um, stuff like that. Just you nibble on something occasionally and that makes everything better, hopefully. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. And I hope it gives you a little insight into what boring dancers do to prepare themselves for a competition. Thanks for watching.